Hello friends. Before we get into the video, I would like to thank YC Onion for sponsoring this video and for helping me get back out there to capture wildlife after spine surgery. Again, <laughs> I've had two spine surgeries this year, which meant that I haven't been able to do wildlife photography almost at all because I couldn't or wasn't allowed to carry the weight of a big super telephoto lens. Earlier this year, in between surgeries, I was able to use the YC Onion Panetta Carbon Fiber Monopod, which had just been released at the time. I will link to that video in the description of this video. Now, three months after my second spine surgery, I am able to use YC Onion's brand new Panetta Peak Tripod with my heaviest wildlife photography camera setup. It was so nice to be out observing and capturing wildlife again. I will share those photos and videos in a minute, plus more about this new tripod, but I first want to introduce YC Onion to you if you aren't familiar with them. They make and offer photo and video gear like lighting, tripods, sliders, camera cages, L brackets, camera grips, and more. They offer many high quality products that can support you in your photography and videography pursuits. Cameras and lenses are obviously necessary for photography, but the accessories can open opportunities like this tripod has for me. I've said it before, but just in case you're new here, I am selective about who I take on as a sponsor and I'm picky about my gear. If I don't really like a company, or if I don't think I will get a lot of use out of the gear, I don't accept the sponsorship. That being said, let's take a look at my wildlife outing with the new YC Onion Panetta Peak tripod. I've been using this tripod all week here in the studio, but it was this morning when I went out at sunrise in the desert heat with my Nikon Z9 and my 200 to 500 millimeter lens to photograph some desert wildlife when I realized how much I like this tripod. For me, it's when I'm out in those uncomfortable situations when I find out what I like and dislike about a piece of gear. To paint a picture for you, it was hot. Not 100 degrees yet, but it was getting there. There were flies buzzing my ears constantly. I also had a pack on my back with gear to capture the B-roll that I needed for this video. And I was looking to capture photos and videos of fast moving animals. So you can imagine that I wouldn't have a lot of patience for a tripod that wasn't super easy to use. Backing up a moment, in the studio, I could tell that this is the sturdiest tripod that I've ever used. Every piece is so well made so smooth and confidence inspiring. I mean, YC Onion has been designing this system since 2019. They really put thought into how to make a tripod and the monopod before it. They thought about how to make it stand out from the rest of the hundreds of tripods available on the market right now. I should actually probably show you each piece that I have here. I have the YC Onion Panetta Peak Carbon Fiber Tripod, the Quick Release Central Shaft, the nut quick release plate and the tripod does come with a bowl head but i am using the fh75 fluid head i love this head you know how i said it's sturdy it comes with some weight the tripod itself is 7.7 .7 pounds so it definitely isn't a tripod that i want to hike long miles with but carrying it around a bit in the desert was just fine and it's great for supporting a big load the maximum payload without the central shaft and using the bowl head is over 77 pounds. Wow. <laughs> okay, the feature of this tripod that stands out the most to me is the way the legs unlock and extend or collapse. You simply flip these handles and lift or lower the tripod. You don't have to touch the legs or multiple fasteners on each leg. There's one handle on each leg and then the legs do the work for you. YC Onion calls it the FISO release system and the Panetta monopod that I have is the same way, just with one leg. And this system makes it, dare I say, infinitely easier to lift or lower the tripod. 
The place I found it to be the most helpful was when I was moving from place to place, making relatively small adjustments to one leg, maybe two, in each new spot that I stopped because the trail isn't perfectly level. So I would need to lift or lower one of the legs to make the camera level. Because of the FISO release system, it takes so little effort and the key for me is that I don't have to bend over. Remember, I'm still recovering from a spinal fusion. I simply can't bend over very much. So to be able to flip a handle and then lift or lower a little bit and then flip the handle back down was invaluable. The ease of use is what allowed me to stay out in this desert riparian area as long as I did. Pre-surgery, I could waltz around this area carrying my camera and my big super telephoto lens for hours. I shot handheld, both for photo and video, but that's not the case right now. So having this tripod to support the camera while I waited for just that perfect shot, maybe sitting on a bench, or while I captured video footage of the little critters that I love so much, it was critical. I would be remiss not to mention the Panetta carbon fiber monopod a little bit more. It was the first monopod that I actually liked using and would use. One really cool thing about owning both this tripod and the monopod, both with the quick release plates and the fluid heads is that they work together. I can take my camera off of one and put it on the other without missing a beat. Or if I only had one fluid head, it would be quick to move it from the tripod to the monopod and back again and head right out the door. But the real benefit to me is that they work the same way. They have the same controls. So I have the muscle memory with both, especially when capturing wildlife, when I need to be quick to get my camera in position, my hands know where and how to adjust the knobs and the levers before my brain even consciously catches up. There really is no substitute for knowing your gear inside and out, your camera, your lens, and certainly your accessories. All right, everyone, let's wind this down. You can see more detailed specifications of the tripod on YC Onion's website, like the height. This is the tallest tripod I own by far. You can see that it comes in a nice bag with different types of feet, all of the tools that you need. The central shaft can be inverted for lower angle shooting, or you cannot use the central shaft and the tripod's legs spread to 82 degrees for very low angle shooting. I will add a link in the description of this video to find more about the tripod, also the monopod. Let me know what you think of this, or if you already use the monopod, definitely let us know how it works for you. Thank you to YC Onion for sponsoring this project. It got me out into the wild with my camera, observing the desert critters that bring me so much joy. And this tripod is now a permanent fixture, both in and out of my studio. I know that the next time Raymond and I go out for astrophotography, we'll have to arm wrestle or something to see who gets to use this tripod. <laughs> As always, thank you all for watching.